G'day. Mathletics is an excellent tool to help teachers to differentiate their students. So first up you hit uh, results from the menu and you will see that this takes you into um, a page with all the students names on the left and all the um, broad topics at the top. So let's just say you want to set a task in addition and subtraction because maybe that's what you're working on at the moment. You just click that column and that will open up and that gives you all the sub columns. Uh, but how you set them is you click the arrow at the top of the bar. So let's go for the column next to it. And whoops, that one there. And you, they're the choices you're given. And if you click assign activity to students with score less than 85, what that means, if they have not done the task or if they have done it but scored less than 85, it will ask them to do it again. So you click on it like that. And see the student at the bottom? She already got 100 for that task, so shows she wasn't assigned the task. So you can tell there's have been assigned to that, um, those students because they're all highlighted in yellow or orange. Um, and so, and now if you look over to the left hand side, you will see that, um, that uh, there's number two in brackets. That shows how many tasks altogether have been set for those students. And that's how easy it is. Uh, it's really that simple to set tasks. And you can set tasks for individual students as well. For instance, um, I've separated my students into, I've differentiated, I've got one, two, three, four, five groups and you can see I've even got an extension group and this group has only got two students in it because they've actually finished all the year four work and so I've now got them um, doing year five um, maths in athletics. So let's just say I wanted to set tasks for, for those students um, I can see that um, one student has finished almost all of that, but not quite. So let's get her to do that one there. And maybe do this one again because she's below 85% there. And 85% is the target considered to be for mastery of the topic. So I'll set those two for her. And I'll set the same ones and I'll set a different one for the other student. So, so there's two each, there they go, they've got two tasks to do. So there you go, that is uh, setting individual tasks for your students.